Hi everybody! Welcome back to home once again. All right, we're gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, I gotta turn the lights off. But the sound is staying down low because I don't have my earbuds. But I mean, yeah, it's all right. All I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Oh, oh my head. Where was I? It was so dark. I saw windows. There was something by my feet. A flashlight. And there was a dead body two feet away from me. That house. Where was I? Alright, so we're looking at the very least to see a different ending. We also want to check what's on that VHS tape, see if we can open a locked door. We're exploring everything in this bitch. There was a body lying on the floor. Who was it? <coughs> there was a drip from the ceiling. What was this strange liquid? Am I channeling Adam West? The desk had a computer and some papers on it, and a single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but I did open the drawer. Or no, not Adam West. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Fuck! The Star Trek guy. For some reason, Adam West came up first, but then I kept talking. And I was like, no, wait. Ah, oh, the, like, Captain's Log. Who the fuck is that? Fuck! Hold on, I need, I need to, I need to hold on for a second. Uh. Was it in this? He also, if I remember correctly, he also wrote a song. William Shatner. That's his name. Got it. <laughs> Receipts, pens, and a blurry photo looked like a store of some kind. Why did this look so familiar? I literally looked up who's the captain's log guy that talks one word at a time. Blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh, man. I had to get out of there. But first to explore... Down the stairs we go, I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg, I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset, she, she looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, try to find a way out. No, that's a different game. That's about two prisoners who get out of prison. Silly game. Silly Benjamin. The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. It seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. A black and white photo. 
looked like the man upstairs and his wife, I guessed. Fuck! That's not how I want to read it. <laughs> a black and white photo. Looked like the man upstairs and his wife, I guessed. There was no reason for me to keep this, but I did. I slipped it. I slipped that photo right in my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers. Dude, I'm I'm so excited. I get I get to play home. I get to also tomorrow's episode's gonna be late, just FYI, because I'm busy. <laughs> a thin gray mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic but exhausted. Yeah, I'll free it. I mean, that doesn't really have any consequence, so. Uh, but I'm busy. Tonight, I get to see my friends uh, for boys' night, because it's Thursday. Um, I get to see my boy Zane, who was in Sebastian's dinner party with me, because he's invited to boys' night this week. I also have to work before I go to boys night and then tomorrow I gotta go to work. I basically, this Friday and Saturday, I'm basically waking up, going to work, going to Hall of Heroes Superhero Museum, uh, excuse me, and then coming back home at like 10 <laughs> p.m. A photo similar to the old one I picked up. It'd been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? Not yet. I didn't want to mess around with everybody's stuff. A collection of rusty tools. This looked like they'd seen a lot of use and were caked in damp smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? Fucking dumbass, am I right? I ventured downstairs. Fuck! The door was taped up and seemed to be stuck. By the smell, I guessed it led to the kitchen. So, like, can I get in there somehow? It looked like hell. I looked like hell. My clothes were dirty and torn, and there was mud caked all over my shoes. My shoes! The front door was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. The bathroom was spotless. Everything had been wiped to a sheen. I wondered if it was the man's wife who did the cleaning or him. There was a photo development tray lying on the floor. Some leftover negatives were sticking out, but they were pretty blurry. I thought I saw what looked like treetops. My shoes. Oh, hey. There were sheets of paper all over the kitchen table. It looked like a series of names were written down, but they were too smudged to read. You only make out a few of the notes. Key card. Ocker. Last one. I promise. It didn't make much sense at the time. Okay. What is that movement? Okay, that's what I thought it was. Cause and effect. So that that's it. The smell of old dishes and moldy food was dizzying. So that's it. I come into the kitchen to see that the mouse that I saved is still alive. Okay. Damn, door was locked. But it didn't look like there was a keyhole. Maybe I could find another way to open it. Alright. Let's go over here. Go over to the picture. That's not the picture. That's not the picture. Picture's upstairs. Uh, these are going to be about the same length, though, I believe. If my planning ahead is correct. It depressed smoothly into the wall. I heard a faraway click somewhere. <clears throat> I 
I want a secret room or a secret door or something. My dad really wants a secret room at some point. The switch in the wall appeared to have unlocked the door. The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Who are you, fucking detective? Maybe I had found a way out. I must have moved it, right? Nope. I left it alone, but I couldn't think of another option. <laughs> Alright, blah, 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 blah. I heaved the box forward, and it finally gave. That was backward. There was a ladder going underground where the box was. A dank smell rose from the passage. I climbed down the ladder. I climbed down that motherfucker so fast. I looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. I wondered where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. Those boxes would have allowed me to climb up the ladder again, but I didn't want to go back up there. Not with that body, all that blood. Footprints in the dirt. Looked like more than one kind, and a lot of traffic. Places all over were marked on the map of the town. The industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the water tower near the old rail station. Alright, I think this is where I'll stop this one. A little, a little short. Thank you everybody so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed and are excited for this new home adventure. Where we're hopefully going to discover some secrets. Thank you, everybody, so much for tuning in. Always remember that your future is unwritten, so make it a good one. Have a happy whatever, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.